Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. For Gon Jatika Vanit, the decision to resign from the Democrat Party was certainly not something that was made on the spur of the moment. Gon's frustration with how his role in the party was belittled all along was no secret. And now, having turned his back on the Democrat Party, Gon believes that he can do a lot more than the country's oldest political party would have allowed him to. Only a day after he resigned from the Democrat Party, Gon admitted that he is in the process of forming a new political party. Gon insisted that there is no bad blood between him and the Democrat leadership, but made clear that he wouldn't want to spend the rest of his political life wasting precious time and not being able to do what he wanted to. Though Gon refused to be drawn into discussing the reason behind his decision to leave the Democrat Party, what he said was enough to confirm what has been widely reported about how his role in the party was sidelined by its current leadership. Speaking during an interview program on Nation TV, Gon repeatedly talked about how time was running out for him to turn his many ideas into action. In the end, I have come to a conclusion that working outside the party should help me reach my goals better, he said. Gon said he is working with a group of people to set up a new political party, which he hopes will play a role in bringing about needed change to Thailand. We have a lot of things to do, especially during this current transitional period, but time is limited, he said. Gon provided few specifics about the new party he is forming and who will be joining it. Atibis Suwan Pakdi, a former Bangkok MP who left the Democrat Party a day after Gon, will obviously be one of its co-founders. Atibis, a 41-year-old former fiscal expert at the Finance Ministry, said the new party has a clear agenda on how to change Thailand. He described the would-be party as a political startup with out-of-the-box thinking. Gon admitted that leaving the Democrat Party was a tough decision for him. He thanked the party he joined 15 years ago for providing him with the opportunity to make his mark in politics. A former investment banker, Gon was chairman of JP Morgan Thailand when he decided to jump into politics in 2005. His election debut in Bangkok was an instant success that subsequently paved the way for him to rise in the party's top echelon and to eventually become its deputy leader. Gon was finance minister in the Apisit administration in 2008 and was widely seen as a potential successor to Apisit Vecha Chiwa as party leader. However, Gon fell out of favor with the current Democrat leadership, which took office in May last year after Apisit resigned as party leader following the party's humiliating defeat in the March general election. In the interview yesterday, Gon denied having conflicts with Democrat leader Jurin Laksana visit, but admitted that they had different styles of working. It's widely known that Gon's role in the party was largely reduced after Jurin took over the reins after winning a leadership election in which Gon also unsuccessfully contested. Gon did not say when the new party he is forming will take shape. He said potential founders and members include professionals and experts in various fields who have the intention to contribute to moving the country forward. Political observers believe that, with his experience and political stature, Gon will certainly be a new political magnet that should attract many people interested in politics. Gon's latest move is adding a new element of excitement to Thai politics. And we can be sure that from this point on, our eyes will be on his every move. And that's all for Thai Business World tonight. Thank you for watching.